1027, everybody. All right, sitting with us this morning is a true talent. He's a master of drama, appearing in, in movies such as Fences, The Hate You Give. On the small screen, is known for the series Grimm, Lost in Space, the critically acclaimed Seven Seconds. And now he's kicking off the third season of BMF. Take a look. I know that you still love me. I could feel it when I was holding you. I think you should find a new place to live. Divorces take time and money. And we barely make it enough to keep the lights on as it is. I can't afford to rent someplace else. It won't cost you anything to sleep on the couch. I'm not sleeping on the couch. This is still my house. Whoa, that's powerful. Now, this thespian is always bringing the best to every project, so please welcome actor and NAACP Award nominee, Russell Hornsby. Yeah. Welcome back to the yeah, show. To Thank you for having me, of course. Well, to get that nomination, not that you need that more recognition, but why, what is that like to, the, to get that kind of recognition? You know, it, it, it feels like uh, people value the work you've done, mm -hmm. and, and oftentimes, it, it can, I look at it as sort of a, a, a Lifetime Achievement Award as mm -hmm. well, you know? done a lot of work that may have not been recognized, mm -hmm. uh, but then you, you're, you're doing something that uh, speaks to the community. Mm. And when we're talking about the NAACP Image Awards, mm -hmm. I like to think that Charles Flannery, the character, uh, represents a, somewhat of a, of a positive image for yeah. our community. Lifetime achievement, you got a whole lot more life ahead of you, right? <laughs> yes. Uh, you know, you have this, this, this incredibly long resume, you're super humble uh, about it. What would you say people recognize you the most from when you have such a lengthy resume and you're in so much? Well, you know, I think it just depends where I am. Yeah. You know, yesterday uh, I had to do a student matinee, and it was a lot of a lot of young people, and they all recommended me uh, see me from the Hate You Give because yeah. that's required reading, right. and so they read the book and then they're watching the movie. Mm -hmm. And there's uh, also Grimm mm -hmm. and uh, Lincoln Heights, but yeah. uh, but Grimm for six seasons, 123 episodes. Yeah. So there was a there was a lot to see. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and now season three for BMF premieres yes. tomorrow. What are we going to expect mm. for this season? Well, I think you know, for the for the young, for the kids, uh, for Meech and Terry, they're sort of finding their way separately. You mm -hmm. know, um, Meech goes down to Atlanta while Terry stays in Detroit, and so now they have to sort of defy, find themselves as, as individuals and uh, how they're going to run the business separately and still try to work together. Yeah. Uh, on the family front, you know, myself and the wife Lucille, as you just saw in the clip, uh, we're making for strange bedfellows. Ah. <laughs> now. Um, but I try to woo her back. Okay. Oh. And uh, I, I've, I've invoked uh, Shakespeare. So it says, uh, Orsino says, the top of Twelfth Night, if music be the food of love, play on. Give me excess of mm. it. And you'll find that uh, Charles goes back to his uh, musical roots uh, of playing his guitar and, and singing with a band. And he writes a special song uh, for his wife Lucille to see if he can indeed woo her back to the bedroom. Wow. Oh, so you're singing. <laughs> Sorry? You're singing. I do sing, yeah. Okay. I am singing on the show. Oh, yeah. I'm a singer. <laughs> oh. You think fans are rooting for you? Um, I, I think they're hoping for the best. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, and uh, by the way, there's a huge billboard outside uh, of the Lincoln Tunnel, which is prime real estate, yes. right? Because fans are, are, are so drawn to the show. Mm -hmm. But you, you mentioned your character a little bit, playing the patriarch of the Flannery family. So how would you describe yourself mm -hmm. as, the, as what kind of patriarch are you? You know, I, I call myself a, a throwback. Okay. You know, uh, the, the saying goes, there was a time when boats were made of wood and men were made of steel. Mm. And so the show, which starts in the 80s and goes into the, the, the early aughts, uh, Charles is that kind of man. You know, those had to work with his hands, yeah. you know, mm. work on cars, machinery, and things of that nature. And that's why it's, it's hard for him to sort of break uh, old traditions, mm -hmm. uh, if you will, of, uh, as Archie and Edith say, when girls were girls and men were men. <laughs> <laughs> you're kind of a jack of all trades. But you know, you, you do, you're on film, television, also in theater. Yes. Mm -hmm. You're doing something off Broadway right now. Yeah, right now uh, I'm starring in uh, a play, Sunset Baby, mm -hmm. uh, written by Dominique Mirasu and directed by Stephen Broadnax. Uh, we go until March 10th. It's a, a play about a young girl whose uh, parents were Black Panthers who were, were activists. Uh, the father did a, a, a prison stint and comes back and is trying to rekindle the relationship with the daughter, okay. but realizing that there's so much time in between, mm. it's hard to get back in uh, the past. Okay, love and that's playing until March 10th. Where is that? At the Signature Theater. Signature Theater. Oh, we love the Signature oh, Theater. Oh, yes. That's a good yeah. one. Very intimate space. Um, you also are directing, by the way, this season. Yes. So what do you like? Do you 
Do you yeah. like it? Oh, I, I love it. I mean, yeah. I was able to direct uh, episode seven uh, of season three. This year, I'm coming back to direct episode two. Okay. Uh, when we start in season four, and you know, it's are you, just are you it, tough. It, sorry. Are you a tough director? No, no, I'm a loving director. <laughs> you know, my my job. You know, the thing is, I, I tell the, the the actors is that it's never about right and wrong. It's about the truth. Mm. And so I really, my objective with working with the actors, especially the young ones, is to get them to, to tell as much of the truth as they possibly can. Mm -hmm. And that's how you get the, the, the better performances uh, mm. out of the actors. There you go. Love that. Yeah. All right. Well, Russell, great to have you on the show. Thank you for having me. You're awesome. Come back Appreciate again. It. We'll do.